you're right there. Mark here from 6 Plus with a first experience, first try at 3D printing style video showcasing the Anycubic Mono 4K, the pros and the cons of using this machine. I'll explain in a minute. Okay, so off the gate, out the gate, this is not going to be an overly specific specifications kind of video, all right? This is someone who's brand new to the concept of 3D printing. They buy this online. They want to start printing. Simple as that. How user-friendly is this? And how good are the results? And thirdly, how reliable is this to do the job okay so let's crack on with the actual unboxing shall we which is this is your printer you get your vat you get your print bed you get your shroud uv shroud you would then get your allen keys to do the adjustments usb stick with software on it a test print so and so forth Plastic spatula, metal spatula, instruction manual, which is actually really well laid out. Your leveling paper that allows you to obviously level this print bed. Some um, resin filters. So if you do get misprints and little bits of resin left in your resin, you then pour it through this. It'll catch the misprint so it isn't then mixed up. Uh, some gloves and some masks that I've already used and I've used other ones of these anyway, so There's a lot here. Oh and a power supply a power adapter fine fine absolutely fine so When I got this I set it up the following evening with the help of Lady six plus she was just making sure I didn't misread the manual because I do struggle with my reading I didn't want to mess it up went together an absolute dream absolute dream leveled it followed the instructions that it tells you on the system and the layout here is very very nice and straightforward i just like to use an allen key instead of my finger because it just makes it easier i would just go to tools then you go set to zero and follow the instructions you then level it it's all good make sure this is all clean peel off your protective material on the print bed on the vat and protect your screen okay pour in your resin and whack on a test print from the actual memory stick which came out as this one here absolutely delightful done got the adrenaline going i was loving it loving it loving it loving it now the actual printer has never failed me okay it's never actually failed me on a print it prints what i wanted to print the quality is there it's a 4k printer on a uh, sizable print bed so the pixels aren't spread out the pixels are kept together long story short the bigger the print bed the less density you have on the pixels so then technically it acts like it's another resolution below her, but that's as technical as I'm going to get. But this size print bed, you do get your 4K. Higher the resolution, higher the print. Simple as that. So everything I've been printing has been going absolutely fine. Now, whenever I get a fault with my printing, like slips or tears or anything like that, that's normally on me. I haven't sliced the files, I haven't worked the files you know i haven't done it right it's nine times out of ten on me not the printer now my cons i would say on this machine first things first when you get this machine swap out the memory stick this memory stick has now corrupted two prints on me all right and it's just appalling that for some weird reason a business thinks that they can send you a cheap shoddy memory stick 
it it's beyond beyond acceptable okay because everything is reliant on this memory stick and this the little pc in here reading what it's supposed to be printing secondly part of the marketing for this any cubic was uh replaceable fet sheets okay but not replaceable in the standard method that you would unscrew the frame unscrew the other side you pop out this sheet and you replace the sheet and then screw it together no the whole thing was replaceable this whole section you would replace it which is cool if you're not 100 percent confident with replacing the sheets you could buy them lovely absolutely lovely quick replacement option i really really like that i don't like the point that you have to buy them pairs and for me they're 30 pound a pair when I can buy the sheets, one pound a sheet. So I've got a future video coming out, okay? Uh, I'll put a link in the description as well to what I've done. I've bought an actual machined vat that has a interchangeable um, FEP holder in the bottom of it. it. Cost me like 25 pounds. It is, I believe, aluminum. It is a metal. And it holds a little bit more resinousness than this one here. One thing I will say about this vat here, it does feel plasticky to a certain extent. But I like the fact that the markings for its literage, milliliters, is nicely clearly laid out. 140, 180, 230, I think that's 220, 230. Nice and clear. Okay, But I will say, as soon as you've got a chance swap this out because once that vat gets pierced which happened up here in this top corner you just want to be able to have it that you can just clearly uh quickly swap them out so yes my two biggest faults that you would need to replace actually replace the parts that memory stick get a decent one and if you want to to save yourself some pennies and you're happy with changing the sheets yourself buy a different fat if you're not comfortable changing the sheets stay with this system buy some of the actual FET interchangeable parts other than that this has been an absolute doddle absolute doddle is a delight to clean if I do get a misprint I have the option that I'll go into system uh, into tool sorry I'll put a bit of sprue in there a bit of um, support in there I'll go detection set it to full screen set it to 15 seconds and go next it'll cure it i can then peel it out and as easy as that that's that's your cleanup done the whole thing works lovely you can set it up that um it won't print if it doesn't have the lid on it's automatically set up like that which is really 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 good and i just thought there you go door sensor so you can turn it on and off. So you could, if you want to, print without the guard on. I don't see why you really want to do that unless you've got some setup here and pouring and blah, 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 blah. But as I said, I am waffling. We are now going to move on to some actual prints that I've done. So you can see a little bit closer of the quality that I have been printing. So I'll catch you in a minute. And we're back with an assortment of little bits and pieces that I've printed off. So it's just a quick um, video, little clip that you can actually then see the quality that this printer is able to pump out. Obviously, it does help if you put the correct settings in. However, vast majority of these settings are on the default settings that come with the 3D printer. Now, one thing I will say, the software that's on here for slice and everything, is absolutely fine, it does the job. However, I have moved over to Lychee, and it just makes it, for my personal opinion, it's a lot easier to use. And these are the kind of prints that I'm coming out with, and it's just phenomenal. It's just genuinely phenomenal. I even made a few combat gauges, um, some objective markers, and they're just coming out nice and clean and crisp. Little 
tokens, grudge markers, com uh, command points for AOS and so on and so forth. And then if you've been following me on social media, I've been printing out some dwarves for a fantasy army. And this is the latest one that came out. And I'm absolutely in love with how this device is holding up because to put it in retrospect these are from the same sculptor however one is the standard any cubic resin which is this one here and this is the JLo ABS light and it's just worked it doesn't matter what resin you put in I know it sounds a bit obvious if you already know about 3d printing but don't worry, as long as you put decent resin in, you're going to be absolutely fine. Like, look at the quality of how it came out. And that came pre-supported. And then, for you 40k people out there, some proxies that I found for free. I thought, let's give it a go. Let's print these ones out. And you may struggle to see it because it's black on black. But just... It's phenomenal. It's genuinely phenomenal. The quality. Absolutely in awe with this machine. But yes, uh, we will finish the video there. I've, I've gone over all the core uh, factors, I think, for the video, uh, for the, uh, the actual video for the printer itself. The two biggest things I would say for you to do is, first of all, get rid of that memory stick replace it with a decent one secondly if you are comfortable with it changing the vat over to a different vat and potentially thirdly as a third one swapping over from the software that was on here to lychee just made it a lot easier and then basically you can go from there and you can print out amazing amazing things not just miniatures but so much different stuff out there. But as always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below. I do have social media links and affiliate links down in the description. If, if you want to support the channel, please do. Also comment if you've had any joy with 3D printing in the past. This may be the same printer, so on and so forth. I really love to hear what people have had in experience. But anyway, I've waffled on enough. I've taken enough of your time. Thank you so very, very much for watching through the end. It means the absolute world to me. Hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.